Frontier Money now and a new report, which says Metro Grand Rapids is expected to see more jobs in 2011 and 2012, but the man behind that forecast acknowledges that the growth is too slow. The news comes on the same day that more than 1,000 people lined up for a chance at a job at Gentex along the lakeshore. And 24-Hour News 8's Tony Talia Villa is in Holland with more on the jobs front tonight. There are signs of hiring from here along the lakeshore to Metro Grand Rapids, but the question for many looking for work is when will I get hired? I have applied for over 300 jobs, and I mean, I probably have only gotten four interviews. You applied to 300 jobs? Probably over 300, yes. So you could count Gen Texas application number 301 or maybe 350 for Margaret Vivere. It's very sad that there's this many people out of work. The Granville woman was one of a thousand plus to pass through the doors. We're hiring a ton of people. Zealand-based Gentex is looking for roughly 150 manufacturing workers and another 100 or so engineering technical workers. We ended up renting uh, uh, some additional space just so we could get everybody in out of the cold. And, uh, and then we put up additional interview space to, to, to keep to keep people moving. Other companies doing business in Ottawa County, from the new battery plants to a food processor to Herman Miller, plan to hire in 2011. And to the east in Metro Grand Rapids, a new forecast shows there should be job growth next year. 0.8% job growth may not sound like much, but George Erickcheck of the Upjohn Institute says it's a better figure than the area has seen for some time. And so it's good news. The problem is I think we all agree We'd like to see that growth be a little bit faster. Eric Check's forecast calls for 1.1% job growth in 2012. It was released today at an event put on by economic development group The Right Place. The group's CEO says she sees signs of growth right now. We have not had a call or a visit or an appointment with a company in the last few months where somebody didn't say to us, we're hiring, our orders are up, we're back on track. That new report shows Metro Grand Rapids does a good job compared to other areas when it comes to creating jobs. The problem comes when that job growth is overshadowed by losses elsewhere. If Eric Check's forecast proves true, the growth should outweigh the losses next year. Leaders along the lakeshore are hoping this hiring and other efforts will yield the same result in Ottawa County. In Holland, Tony Talyavia, 24-Hour News 8.